Morning, Sutamani again. How are you today? Hope you're well. Another beautiful day in paradise, as we call it, on the Gold Coast. <coughs> Here playing um, in the Sunday mixed doubles. I don't play, I just walk around. Just uh, listening to Dave Wood again. And he was telling the story about how he was the dumbest kid in class. He was always getting in trouble at school. His father was a high court judge. His grandfather was president of a university in Alaska. So it's it's almost like a story in reverse, <laughs> where it's not you're coming from a, a whole lot of poverty and uh, improving your lifestyle. He actually went through the opposite, where he struggled for a long, long time. He left school. And, um, but, but what his father did, he took him, took him to an Amway meeting when he was 14. Now, uh, my brother follows his pattern a bit too, where <coughs> everyone in my family, I've got uh, five sisters and two brothers, so there are eight children in the family, and every single one of us have got university degrees, except one brother. And uh, <coughs> he left school when he was... Um, young, I think 16, 15, 16, and he went and did an apprenticeship, spray painting apprenticeship, fixing cars, smash repair. And ever since then, well not ever since then, but for a long, long time, he's had always had his own businesses and done very well financially. Had a few um, losses along the way, especially with um, buying a house and, and when the house prices dropped, he lost money on that, but he's always recovered from it. And he was the one that first introduced me to network marketing back in September 2008. And he sent me a video. And it was a video of Matt Rasmussen from ACN, a wonderful speaker. And he, he told the story about how you can make money on things that people use every day, like phones and wireless internet. And the company had only just come into Australia in early 2008. So it was still in its growth. And in, in America, it had like five or six different products that it was selling. It was selling insurance and, and I think uh, things to do with TV, pay TV, things like that. But that wasn't available here in Australia. And I, but I didn't, didn't bother me. It had enough in it. And the, the idea of, of setting up residual income just was amazing to me. I'd never seen it before. No one had ever introduced me to it, even though my mum had practiced it a bit back when I was still at high school by going door to door selling rollies, which of course, that's network marketing, isn't it? So my brother Peter introduced me to it and we ended up, you know, getting dressed up, going to meetings. And it was the first time I saw my brother wear a suit and tie, apart from his wedding. <laughs> and he used to dress up and he's a very clever, funny storyteller and he'd get up and tell stories and he'd have everyone in stitches so he was really good at it really good at selling it but the the commissions were so tiny that for a lot of effort you didn't get much return and I can't remember the exact figures now but I threw myself into it for nine months left my job uh, senior education officer at TAFE where I was earning over 85,000 a year left my job to concentrate on it I actually sort of retired early confident that I would you know, earn enough to more than supplant that 85000 a year. So persevered at it for nine months, which I guess in, in business is not long enough. It's never long enough, is it? Um, I've had a couple of businesses in, in my past, traditional businesses. One of them I persevered with for nine years, and, and um, I left that because of personal reasons, nothing to do with the business. The business was still thriving. So... Um, Back to Peter, he, uh, he, uh, my brother, he um, was doing very well with it and um, I was doing quite well too. I had about 300 in my downline and um, I was, for the first time I'd done it, I was feeling quite successful and I was quite happy to go recruiting anybody and everybody and making all the mistakes that beginners make. And uh, I had a few setbacks that really, I found horrible, I hated them, hated the setbacks where um, long time family friend 
made an appointment to go around the house and show them the thing and they just weren't there and they just avoided us. It was awful. And, you know, ne they've never really got over it. They still keep avoiding us. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> um, and, of course, family members, some of whom have come into a couple of businesses I've been in. So, you know, it's been a, an interesting learning curve. Now, of course, um, I only market to people who are looking for, for something. Um, people who are looking for a job, looking for work, looking for something to do online, looking for an opportunity. So I just have to be where they are, one way or another. And I need, and I just, my blogs for example, I try and make them as helpful and as useful as I can to help other network marketers, no matter what business they're in. Uh, <coughs> so um, one of these days I'm going to tackle my brother Peter again. I haven't yet. I haven't I don't approach any of my family members and close friends about my business anymore um, because I've been in a few of them and um, I've had a little bit of success but nothing major. Um, I'm probably going to have to wait until I'm getting 100000 a month from Empower before I really tell people in my family about it. <laughs> they, I won't have to tell them, they'll ask me, they'll want to know. So um, it's... Uh, if you've, it doesn't matter what your background is, it doesn't matter whether you've left school early or whether even you had no school, you can succeed. Um, the Empower Network is, is very different. Uh, for one, they've got top training, not old-fashioned training that, that is really hard on the psyche. Um, they teach you how to, through attraction marketing, where people come looking for you or they find you where you are online. So there you go. Come and join me. Have a nice day. See you later.